Next we will see haloarenes uh, that is halogen substituted to a aromatic ring. Okay. So, first let us see with the preparation methods. The first preparation is by halogenation. Okay. So, we will take benzene okay, halogenated with chlorine. This can be either bromine or iodine anything, okay. but we have to take the catalyst like FeCl3 or any like you know Lewy acid can be used. If we are going to halogenate like Br2 then we have to take FeBr3 and so on. The next important condition here is we have to carry out this reaction in dark conditions. If we use light, what will happen? Instead of getting substituted in the ring, it will get added to the double bond. Okay? So, that is one important concept here. So, now in this method of preparation, we will get the hydrogen, one of the hydrogen will come out and like chlorine will be uh, added, giving you this as a byproduct. Okay? So, now a Cl plus like you know uh, electrophile is generated when we use the uh, Lewy acid as a catalyst. The next if we use instead of fluoro just having uh, one molecule of chlorine, if we use excess chlorine what will happen? First it will form chlorobenzene like this. Okay? So, because we have used uh, like you know excess chlorine, the other chlorine can also get added to the ring. So, we will get dichlorobenzene. Okay? So, both in the ortho position and in the para position because chlorine as we know is a ortho para directing group. Okay? So, this will be like you know ortho chloro chlorobenzene, this will be para chloro uh, dichlorobenzene. Okay? Now, next we can also take toluene halogenated with chlorine. Again as I said, we can also do bromination, but then we have to take FeBr3 as the catalyst. Again dark conditions have to be used. So, now we will get like you know as I told you this will be an electrophile here. So, we will get a Cl attached here that is in the ortho position and in the para position because CH3 group is again a ortho para directing group. So, next method of preparation is from amines. So, here we take aniline react it with NaNO2 and HCl okay, sodium nitrite and HCl. So, what happens when we react these two? We get NaNO2 plus HCl will give you nitrous acid that is HNO2. So, this is prepared in C2 here. Okay. So, here we will get a diazonium chloride salt that is N2 plus Cl minus. This is called benzene diazonium chloride. the azo group is from N double bond N here. Okay? So, once we prepare the benzene diazonium chloride using this reagent, then when we treat it with Cu2Cl2 okay, which is dissolved in HCl, if we treat it with uh, Cu2Br2 we have to dissolve it in HBr. So, we will get here we will get the chlorine substituted benzene that is chlorobenzene here. If we use Cu2Br2 we will get the bromine substituted benzene. Okay. So, these two reactions when we use the cuprous salt and when we get the chlorine or bromine derivative, this particular reaction is called Sandmeyer's reaction. So, now we can also substitute iodine here okay, with the, from the diazonium chloride. So, in that case we have to take potassium iodide then warm it. So, we will get iodobenzene okay, plus K H sorry K and C. Okay. Now, if we take uh, like you know fluoroboric acid here, then we will get the fluorine substituted benzene plus BF3. In both these cases N2 gas will be liberated. So, the next method for the preparation of haloarenes, we will take the silver salt of benzoic acid. Okay? So, then brominate it in the presence of carbon tetrachloride which is a solvent and reflects it that it heat it at a higher temperature. Then here we will get 
bromobenzene br okay one br will get attached here the other br will get attached to silver forming the agbr precipitate followed by co2 gas because you are going to reflux it okay this reaction is specific only for the uh, like you no know, to prepare bromobenzene so and this reaction is called the hans dicker reaction a very important reaction naming reaction okay now the next method is the commercial method like that is to if we want to prepare in large scale okay so we can use this method here also the chlorobenzene only is produced so we take the vapors of benzene okay heat it with like you know hcl plus o2 take a uh, cupric chloride salt and heat it so what will happen is we will get chlorobenzene again okay so this will be the product so this method is usually prepared like you know in large scale when we want chlorobenzene 